Welcome back to the channel, Water Rat Lyle. Tonight, we're gonna go catch some night crawlers. It's been raining all day. Two things you're gonna need is a low loom flashlight. Can't be too bright. Uh, they are really quick when the light hits them and they go back into their holes that are hard to catch. And a little bucket uh, with the lid. I got the holes cut out of it already. So um, let's go out here and see what we can get. All right, we're outside. Let's see. Try to see if we can get these night crawlers so you can see them here. So, this is what you want. See that right there? See him? He's right there. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. See him going back in? That's why you gotta be fast. See him? He's right there. There's another one right there. Sorry about the flashlight, it's being crazy right now, but you see them? So, now that you guys see them, and what we're looking for, determine from the blades and grass and stuff. See, that one's all the way out though. He don't even have nothing to go back into. So we're gonna pick him up. And then put him in our bucket. And if it rains really hard, it's, it's really good to go out when it's still raining because it's easier to catch them as far as sneaking up on them. Right there, right there, right there, right here. You guys can see, yeah, he's going back in. So they're everywhere. See, there's one right there. I really hope this can work. Here, they're not, they're not moving too fast for the light, some of them are. See them all right there. Mm. Then we'll take these. Put them in our bucket. So, actually I'm gonna go, since these are not going too fast, I'm gonna go get a different light. Hopefully help you guys, hold on one second. Okay, so this is normally way too bright, but I'm trying to let you guys see what I'm looking at. So, there's, there's one right here. I'm trying to get him going, and see him. Hopefully you can see that. There's one there. See this big one right here? That's what you're looking for. So you want to grab them. There he is. You just put them in our bucket. Like I said, normally it's still raining at my house. So look at these guys. This is going to be great bait. It's still raining and it's helping me with the light I believe because normally they, they're like, see them, them went in pretty quickly. Ah, that one went in. So here's this one. Let's see, There's another one right here, a little tiny one. We'll let him go to get bigger. But yeah, you, you guys can see there's one right here. You gotta pull them out of the hole easy if you catch them because they will rip and tear really easily. See, that's just, there's four of them right there, just a few seconds. Again, like I said, this is, it's still, look, here's two of them mating. So, what we do is we'll grab each of them. Just like that. So now there's a half a dozen worms just in a few seconds. Pretty cool. And a very, very inexpensive way to get bait. Put them in our bucket. 
There you go. See, look at them. They're like, they're literally everywhere. It's got to be easy with them. There's one right here. There's one right here. I used to do this all the time growing up, so it brings back memories growing up with my dad. Catching night crawlers all the time, going to the river fishing. Might be too bright, but yeah, that's over, probably over a dozen, right? Just in that short of time, three minutes. So, I hope you guys can see all these. There's one. Ah, he got loose. Dang it. Oh, there's a bunch of big ones. I got one big one. The other one got scared. That's normally how they do with really bright light. That's why I said you need a low loom light. That's just a baby. I don't want to let him go. Here's a good one. Come here. So, uh, that one broke. So we'll go ahead and put this other piece in there. Ah, oh, dang it. So we'll get this one that's far away. This one right here. So, as easy as that, I'm going to um, set the GoPro down for a second. You guys got to kind of get the gist, gist of it. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. It's really hard on your back. You're always bent over. Trying to catch worms. You got to be really quick, like I said. Ah, dang it. I just scared like 10 of them. I'll get out of there. So, trying to hold the light out of the way. And in the way, I guess. At the same time, but... That's what we're doing. Okay, one thing I want to mention is you want to come out about two hours or so, give or take, after it gets dark, not right at dark. Gives them time to get out of the ground. So basically when it rains, these the worms are drown they're drowning. So they come up out of the ground for to get oxygen to stay alive. So that that's why they're out when it rains. And when it's when it didn't rain, you kind of can get them, but they're not out as bad as they are, or as much as they are now. So um, stick these in the bowl. And then also when you ah dang it when you come through your yard, you can go back in the house and come back out. probably 20 minutes to an hour depending on how much it rains and they'll the ones that you missed or other ones will be right back out so um yeah that's how i catch my worms all right guys so i'm back in um this is pretty much what i got in about 12 minutes or so so that's enough to last me for a while, especially now that it's still early in the season. So, and I always put some dirt in there, especially if it's wet, it keeps them alive, gives them water and nutrients that they need to stay alive. But yeah, bucket's full. Yeah, get a little bit of grass in there. So. Yeah, but this bucket's full just in 15 minutes or so give or take and I uh, put the lid on like I said I got holes cut into them and put the lid on and keep them in my refrigerator 
use them when I need them. Uh, yeah, so that's how you catch worms after a good rain. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Um, so hopefully you got to see or get an idea of how I catch my worms uh, on the rain days. And I stock up quite a bit, as you've seen in the video. Uh, so thank you for watching the video. Hit like, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave comments of what you want to see this upcoming fishing season. And I will try my best to get out uh, what you guys are requesting.